For our film screenings, I decided to. Okay, in this episode, you're gonna see how to call up a venue to organize a screening. And you're also going to see how to poster for a film event. Number one is organising the venue. First of all, you have to choose your venue. So how do you decide where to screen your film? Well, there's a few things you need to think about. Thing number one is... Are you costing the venue any money? This is important, because if you are costing them money, you will have to make them money. If you are not costing them money, then the money that your customers spend on drinks will be enough. Would the venue ordinarily be open if you weren't showing your film in that venue? If the answer to that is no, then you are costing them money because you are basically taking up the time that they could be using on a more reliable source of coinage. As the Free Jazz Filmmakers film screenings will be completely free of charge, we will not be able to make the venue any money, and therefore we must not cost them any money. Thing to consider number two. What type of people go to the venue? Would they ordinarily be interested in the type of event that you are wanting to put on? Bar Loco is a venue that regularly puts on gigs, performances, art exhibits and other cultural events. So we thought that an experimental film screening would fit in with what they put on in their bar anyway. Now that you've chosen your venue, you need to call them up and organise it. Now I should explain that uh, prior to this, when I was first thinking about this project, before I had actually confirmed that I would actually do the project, um, I had already phoned up and kind of had this event penciled in for the afternoon. Um, So basically all this phone call is is just me confirming that event and trying to change the time to be in the evening so that more people can attend. Hello there. Um, I called up um, in, I think it was about... February um, to ask about um, putting an event on the last Thursday of every month. Yeah, what kind of event? Um, it was like a film screen. Can you remember? Do you have it? For the, the summer. For the what, sir? Sorry, was it for the summer, yeah? For the what? Summer month. Was it August, July, September, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was, um, I started in, um, June, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I think I was, um, from about four till six, I think I had it. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, I was wondering if, um, I could maybe, um, like, confirm those slots, but if I could move them, like, further into the evening, like, um, like six till eight or something instead. Six till eight. That would be alright. Oh, actually, to be honest, um, maybe seven till nine, if that's okay. Seven. Let me take one second. Okay, no worries. Okay, for all of them, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, nice one. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Uh, thank you. Bye bye. So, how do you organize a film screening in a venue? Pretty damn easy. Just call them up and ask. Nothing else to it. And if they say no, simply call another venue and ask them instead. 
Okay, the next part of this video is basically some weirdo sitting at a dinner table explaining how I posted this event. Um, I made posters um, that sort of look a bit like this. Voila. Um, <coughs> to advertise the film event. Part of the selling point of this project, I think, is that it's been kind of low tech and sort of um, DIY. So I tried to make posters that were kind of the same as that, um, using basic like cutouts and kind of hand painted fonts and stuff like that. What I did to make the posters is I took them to Newcastle Library, I placed all the kind of cutouts kind of in the front in the photocopier machine in Newcastle Library um, and kind of like basically um, did all the layout in the library which possibly wasn't a good idea because I had a few people behind it. Are you just to let you know that um we're, sorry we're closing in and we've got to switch the copy off in ten minutes. Oh. It'll be much longer. Okay, yeah uh, no it won't be long ten minutes. Brilliant sorry, cool. Can I forgot to switch it off? Okay, no it's cool. Bar, the Cooney, the Cumberland Arms and the Shipping, the Trent House, um, Bar Loco and the Cumberland Arms, the Dublin Parrot and the Head of Steam. Okay, there you go people. Um, that's how I um, made the posters, stuck them up for this event, etc, etc, and how I chose the venue that I was going to conduct the film screenings in. Um, don't forget, we're going to be making um, one new Super 8 film every month, for four months, starting in June. And um, pretty soon we're going to be starting production on the first one. So uh, please um, subscribe if you want to see us making a film. Um, also, um, we've got some other videos which will probably be around here somewhere on your screen. Um, please click on them, um, like them, etc. etc. Um, anyway, thank you very much.